Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So for today's video, we're gonna talk all about the new boobies. <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking about this in front of everyone on the internet, but why not? I share everything with you guys, so that's fine. I was actually telling you guys in my clothing haul video that I just put up maybe like a week or two ago, I was telling you guys in that video how I was about to have surgery and I was going from larger implants down to smaller implants. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking more about it there and kind of sharing a little bit more of like the recovery process and all of that stuff with you guys. And so many of you guys had messaged me and DM'd me and thank you so much for all your like support and love. I got like some of the best comments and it really helped while I was like super nervous to get this done, you know, reading it through a lot of comments from people who have already done this just made me feel so much more comfortable and so much better. So I'm hoping that, you know, me making this video We'll do the same for you guys if you are thinking about having this surgery as well, just kind of easing some, you know, anxiety and just, you know, answering some questions about my process personally, um, recovery, all of that stuff. So that is what we're going to do today. I also want to share with you some really cute finds that I bought over this past week. You know, I was laying in bed, not being able to do anything. So what is a girl to do but sit on her phone and online shop? So I want to share with you guys some really cute things that just came in the mail that I love. So I'm just going to throw them in this video and share them with you guys at the same time. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the surgery I had, you know, again, going from larger implants down to smaller implants, I want to share with you, you know, my experience, recovery, all of that stuff, then just keep watching. And you can tell it's summertime because it is so humid and my hair is just like ugh, all over the place. Okay, so before I actually even get started on the whole, you know, implant surgery and all that stuff, Check out the eyebrows. I told you guys they were healing. They're, you know, pretty much fully healed now. If you don't know, I got them microbladed probably about two weeks ago and they were really dark. They go through the whole fading and healing process and look at how amazing they look. The girl that I went to this time, I absolutely adore. She is phenomenal. I will put her info actually down below in case any of you are in my area here in Orange County and are looking for an amazing brow girl. She is like legit. So. They are pretty much healed and this is what they're gonna look like. There's no makeup on them. There's just nothing on them at all. So she did amazing. Okay, let's just jump into the whole surgery and all of that. So many updates for you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's start out with kind of my previous like past with, you know, implants and all of that. So basically I have had three breast augmentations now at this time. I am 41 years old. I think I got my first one done when I was like, I think I was 20 and I was, you know, I'm very petite. I'm very little. I think I was like 98 pounds then and I was an A cup and I just wanted to feel a little bit more, you know, curvy and all of that. I just was like, I had nothing. <laughs> so I went from like an A cup to a C cup and then um, I, that surgery went well. Everything was really great. No issues whatsoever. And then after I had my second son, which Coulson is now 12, when after I had him, I probably like maybe like two years after I had him, I had them redone and then I went from a C to a double D. So it was really big for my size. It was 650 cc's and that is what I just had and that is what I just had removed. It was pretty big for my body. Um, to be honest, I wasn't I, my ex-husband at the time was like one of the, you know, one of those guys that was like the bigger, the better type of thing. Um, so I just went with it and that is kind of where I was for the past 10 years. I had those in for just about 10 years. Um, and for the past couple years, I've wanted to get them, you know, taken down and reduced. But like so many of us, I've just, surgery is not my favorite thing, obviously. I don't like the whole process. I don't like getting put to sleep. I don't like recovering. I am not the type of person to just lay in bed and just relax. I'm always like, I want to go. I got things to do. I have, you know, I, I just, I, I want to work out. Like, I don't like taking the time to recover, but I finally just decided, you know what? Like, I'm just going to do it. I'm 41. It's been 10 years and you're supposed to get your implants changed every 10 years, but honestly, you don't have to. I had no issues whatsoever with any of my 
implants, like at all, no issues whatsoever. In fact, the doctor that did mine just, you know, this past week, um, he went in, he, he said everything looked actually amazing. There was like hardly any scar tissue. It was a super easy surgery because it was just like literally like popping them out and putting new ones in. Um, so he said sometimes he has to go in and really, you know, remove some scar tissue buildup and, you know, other issues that can happen, you know, but Mine had no issues whatsoever. So I didn't get them taken out or reduced or anything. I didn't have any like breast implant illness symptoms or anything like that. But I will say, cause I've had people ask me, do I think that's like a legit thing? And a hundred percent, I think that's a legit thing. I think some people's body just, whether right away or over time, just kind of reject them in your body. And you can have like insanely crazy, just like symptoms that you don't know where they're coming from. And I actually have a friend who just recently got hers taken out and her symptoms that she was having completely went away. So I do think that's a real, real thing. Um, but for me, I just, I've never had any issues like knock on wood. This isn't wood, whatever this is, but knock on wood, I've had no issues ever. So I just wanted to get them reduced for my size. Um, I am like 5'2", I'm little, I'm petite, I'm like 105 pounds. Um, double Ds were just, I'm just like over it. Like I'm a mom of two little boys. I just don't need the whole big booty thing going on anymore. So I kind of just wanted to feel, you know, like more normal and just more like, you know, petite and me and just have them fit myself. So. And that is what the doctor did. So he took me down from 650 cc's and we are now at 430. So that was a double D and now I'm like a full C cup, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, and I did not have to do a breast lift at all. That was one of the things that we had discussed because, you know, if he took me down too small, he was afraid that I would have too much skin, that he would have to like, you know, do a breast lift and everything. And I really wanted to avoid that as much as possible. He said that my skin was still very... Um, you know, even going which how, with how big I was, like my skin was still very like tight and in shape and not saggy or anything like that. So he basically knew that the 430 CC size was going to be perfect where he could put them in and not have to do a breast lift or anything like that. He did do some tightening on the inside, which was really interesting. So because I went from like a bigger pocket on the inside, he literally just like stitched up some of the pocket from the inside. So um, it just made it like tighter on the inside where, um, I, he didn't have to do a breast lift or anything like that. So that, you know, I was very lucky about, and he did it perfectly. Like my skin looks still, you know, it doesn't look stretched. It's like still like perky and amazing. And he did a really, really good job at going from bigger to smaller, because if you do go, you know, if you don't have the right doctor and he goes too small, you are going to see like your skin's going to like hang more. So he did just a fabulous job because I did not need a breast lift at all. Yet I still got like the size and everything that I wanted. So that was the surgery. Um, I, like I said, it was a week ago and um, it was like a two hour surgery they had scheduled. It only took him like an hour and a half. He said it went really, really well. I woke up, um, had, you know, you get the bandages all over you. I woke up and I remember um, they like sit you up and I was like, oh, like, I just was like, oh, I remember that pain. It's like that soreness. And I was like, oh, here we go again. But to be honest, like the initial soreness like hit and he kind of like numbs you. And I did take pain medication while I was waking up from anesthesia. They gave me pain medicine, but I had no prescribed pain medication at all. He only had prescribed me antibiotics for three days. He prescribed me, um, a swelling, something for swelling. And that was it. And I remember going into him right before surgery and talking to him before surgery and being like, you didn't prescribe me any pain medicine. Like what? Like I was so scared. He's like, no, you're not going to need pain medication. You know, I'm doing other things, you know, to help with the pain and, and it, it's not that painful of a surgery and you'll be fine. And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I don't like recovering. I don't like pain. I just want to be comfortable. So I was kind of freaking out. Um, but he assured me I should be fine with some Tylenol extra strength. And I was like, okay, doctor. <laughs> um, but he said that they, he honestly just tries to not prescribe pain medicine because I guess a lot of people that with the whole like, addiction thing and people having issues with pain meds, um, he just tries to avoid that. And if you need it, he'll prescribe it, but he's like, it's better to just try to, you know, do it without. So I was worried about that. But then honestly, when I got home, I rested. He actually said, you know, he wanted me to walk 
for like five minutes every hour. You got to, you know, keep up and moving. And I did that and I was actually pretty fine. Honestly, I just felt sore. Like he did the incision underneath. So I could feel like the soreness underneath and obviously like a little bit of pressure from, you know, the inside, but nothing that crazy at all. It was mostly just soreness underneath. So I was up and walking around that same day, you know, a couple minutes every hour. I was like taking laps around my house and it wasn't that bad. So I was pretty shocked about that. I took my Tylenol for the first two days. And then after two days, I didn't even take any Tylenol. Like I didn't need anything, no pain meds. It wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit of soreness. And I, I just don't like to take medicine if I don't have to. So I just cut it off and I was perfectly fine. The only thing that I was still taking was like the, well, I finished my antibiotic. And then the only thing I was taking was like my swelling pills, which I actually called him after like day four of those. And I asked him if I was like, do I really need to be taking these or can I just get off them? Because honestly, they were making me so bloated and just like my stomach and just like, oh, like I just felt so gross on them. So he's like, no, you don't even need to finish those. If you feel fine, you don't even need to take those. I was like, perfect. So I didn't take those after a couple days, nothing. So I was surprised to say the least at how little pain I was in. It was mostly just a soreness. So that was day three, no pain meds, nothing. Day four was on Thursday. I had the surgery on Monday. Day four was Thursday. That's the first day I could shower. So I could not shower for the first three days. They don't want you to get like the bandages or anything wet. They want to keep you all bandaged up. So day four, I could shower. It was my first like unveiling of them. Um, and I was like shocked. They looked really good. They were swelling like on the sides. I remember like I had these big like poofy kind of like pockets on the side. There was just fluid and just swelling. Um, but that went down within like a day or two. And he, I just saw him today and he said, most of my swelling is pretty much gone. It's just going to be like very little swelling, you know, that's going to reduce over time, but it's not much like at all anymore. And I can tell because all my sides, like all that fluid and stuff that was like, you know, the, like retaining water and all that bleh, the gross stuff was like, all swelled up on my sides and that's gone now. So Thursday that day four, I could shower. I showered, it was a little bit painful because you take off, you have to wear a sports bra. I have a sports bra on right now. You're supposed to keep your sports bra on, no underwire or, or anything like that, but you really have to wear like an actual sports bra for the first couple of days. So I remember taking that off and it, the sports bra obviously keeps you like compressed and up and everything. So taking that off for the first time was like, I was like, mm, like I could, it was like sore. And I remember I was like in the shower, like washing my hair and I, it was like, just like sore, right? Um, but I showered, I felt good after that because a couple days of not showering and not washing hair, I was like, oh. So I felt way better after that. Um, I put my sports bra back on. It, it felt good to like put that back on. Um, and that was day four. And then Friday, I was kind of up and walking around. Again, no pain, nothing. Saturday, Sunday was the 4th of July. It was we. It was my first day actually out of the house. There was a big like neighborhood 4th of July party. I went to that, I was fine. Um, and then yesterday was, you know, Monday, July 5th. Every, you know, everyone had off that day still. So my boyfriend had off, we actually went on like a day date that day. We went out to lunch um, by the ocean and it was just like amazing. And it just felt so good to get out of the house and just do a little date and everything. Um, but again, like I felt really good, like just no pain. It's just a very slight soreness left. It's mostly sore like in the morning when I wake up. So I'm still sleeping on my back, which is actually like the best thing. Cause I'm like, not only cause I have to sleep on my back right now. I'm like, Ooh, this is training me to sleep on my back for my skin. Cause I literally can never sleep on my back. So for the past like week I've been sleeping on my back. I'm like, this is good. This is good. I'm like training myself. So um, it, the only time I'm really sore is like first thing in the morning when I'm like sitting up out of bed and I'm like, mm, it's like a sore very first and then I'm standing up and I'm walking around and it just feels better throughout the day. So it's like honestly not that bad. So any of you who are like, you know, like I was, I just was putting off the surgery because I didn't want to like recover. I was not in the mood to deal with pain or anything, you know, we always have these like we always think the pain's gonna be so, so bad. But honestly, I remember the very first time I had my breast augmentation going from like nothing to a C. Oh my God, I remember that being painful. I couldn't even sit up, I remember that. But then this time, I don't know if it's cause everything was, I mean, it probably is everything was already stretched out. I'm going smaller, it just was not bad. So I know so many of you DM me and were like, 
oh my gosh, I'm thinking about doing the same surgery, you know, going from bigger implants to smaller implants, like, but I'm scared of recovering. It's not bad. Oh, that was one of the questions that I got too in some of my DMs. People were asking me if I had like those drains, which I didn't. I had drains the very first time I had them done. I did not have drains the second time and no drains this time. So I don't know if there's a reason like why people have those or if it's just like a first time thing because I only had them with my first surgery not the second time and not this surgery either. So people were asking me about like the drains and all that stuff. No, did not have those at all. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it in regards to the surgery. Like I said, I'm very happy that I just took the plunge and went for it and did it and just got it over with. It was not as bad as I was thinking at all. And I feel so much better. I just feel like the he, the surgeon that I went to was amazing. I will actually link his info down below too in case you're in this area. He is amazing. I would highly, highly recommend him. He's like super skilled. All of my friends who are doctors, they're the ones that recommended him to me and I'm so glad because I didn't know who to go to. That's another reason I just put it off for so long. I'm like, I don't know who to go to. There's so many doctors. I'm in Orange County. There's plastic surgeons like on every corner of the street. So I just wasn't sure and I'm just like, oh, just, you know, you just get in these modes where you're just like, just forget about it. I don't want to deal with that. Just forget about it. So a lot of my friends are doctors and they said, no, he's the best, you know, breast surgeon. So I'm glad I took their advice because he was so amazing amazing and I just I mean you can't really tell now because they're in a sports bra and everything but they just fit my body way more so I am super super happy can't wait for like the soreness and just a little bit of that you know to go away um the doctor did tell me today at my post-op that I can start working out again I just can't do anything that's like using my chest muscles so I can still do like legs and um, arm stuff, you know, just like arms that don't use your chest. So he said, you know, obviously just take it easy. Don't want to use your chest muscles or anything like that. Um, I can do other things, but also not like running or cardio, nothing that's going to like move them around too much. So I just got to, I mean, my workouts are pretty intense. If you follow me on Instagram, you see, um, what me and my trainer do, but I'm just going to kind of take it a little bit easy for now and just build back up to what I was doing, but at least I can kind of get back out there and move around and still get my, you know, workouts in. So I am free to work out starting now as well. Um, cause that was another question that I got too. Cause I, like I said, I'm not one to just sit around. Like I love my workouts and I'm super excited to get back to that. So, um, I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, like always, you know, leave me a comment down below or DM me. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I will answer anything that I'm missing but that's pretty much it um let me share with you guys what i got over this past week and i'll share with the uh bras that i got because like i was saying i have to wear i mean kind of like a sports bra i just can't wear like any underwire so i had to well i have to buy new bras anyway because i had all double d bras and now i'm a c so i have to buy bras anyway but i wanted to buy some cute you know no wire bras and i found this company online while I was like kind of searching for bras and it, I never heard of it but I'm actually so glad I found it it's called negative underwear and they're bras and I actually got some of their like panties too they're like the cutest but I mean they're just casual just I mean there's nothing fancy about them but they're wireless and they're cute and let me tell you the material is so soft actually this little t-shirt that i have on is by negative underwear too it's just like a cute little top they have like really cute like little loungewear and stuff too that i got a couple things um actually coming because i ordered more bras and stuff from them too but they have cute just really basic bras but really really soft material and if you are somebody who just likes you know a good wireless bra these are really cute you guys and then i got this one and this is kind of like a meshy kind of material this one I don't know what this material is but it's so insanely soft it like feels like my t-shirt um but then I got this one and like I said I got these tried them on they are really comfortable and just fit really cute so they're not like sports bra-ish you know but they're not wires too so I can feel a little bit more sexy and not feel like I'm at the gym 24 hours a day in like my actual sports bra um so I ended up going back on the site and ordering a couple more but 
In case you guys are looking for just cute wireless bras, I will link them down below because they're super, super comfy. All right, and then you guys know I'm like the queen of like jean shorts and stuff. And I had so many people comment on my last clothing haul and you guys were like, what's the jean shorts of the summer? Because I always share with you guys like jean shorts that I find and I am I have an obsession with like denim shorts. I don't know, you should see my closet, it's insane. But these I just bought and I'm obsessed, you guys. I just got them in the mail tried them on and they are so stinking cute. These are uh, free people and I'll link these down below too. But oh my gosh, these make your butt look amazing. They fit so perfect. There's no gap in the back, perfect length. They're like short, but no butt hanging out or anything like that. Just like insanely cute, you guys. This has like the little button up fly, which I think is super cute. I, I love these. This was like, I tried these on. I was like, oh, I have to talk to you guys about these because these are so cute. And then I got this pair of shoes. I wanted like a pair of white heels and I really don't have like white heels and I found these on Revolve. How cute are these? They are so comfortable too. I think they're like a four or maybe like a little bit more like four and a half inch heel. I don't know what they are, but they are so comfortable to walk in. I was shocked, like really, really a comfortable shoe. They came in different colors, but like I was saying, I was kind of looking for like a white pair because I don't really have like straight white heels. Um, and they're so cute. I really like these. They're just like perfect for summer. So super cute and i would try some of this stuff on for you but it's like not the easiest to be getting changed and dressing yet and i'm wearing just like a sports bra right now so i'm just i'm gonna link everything for you guys but i'm not gonna try it on because it's just i don't want to do that <laughs> it's just not like the most fun to, to like be getting dressed and undressed right now but then i got two really cute dresses from lulu's and that's like another one of my favorite places to shop i would say my two favorite places to shop are revolve as you guys know and lulu's lulu's has some of the cutest stuff and like way cheaper prices like but their stuff is really good quality and i always find the cutest things there their loungewear too oh my gosh i have so many of their cute like just like pajama-y like loungewear stuff and they're so cute. So I found these two dresses. This one I'm obsessed with because I love this color. It's like, I love this color for summer. It's like a corally orange. I am just in love. Anything this color that I see, I'm just like drawn to. But it's just a t-shirt dress, but a little form-fitting. It's like a ribbed material, just, you know, short. And it's just super cute. Like I love stuff like this in the summer. Like I told you guys, I live in just throw on t-shirty dresses. This one is really, really cute because you can dress it up and, you know, wear it more casual with sneakers or something. I just love it. And then this is probably the softest dress that I've ever, like, touched in my entire life. How cute is this? Again, this is from Lulu's. Um, it's just the cutest, like, little tie-dye pink and white little dress, but it's got some ruching on the sides, and the bottom is just kind of like a, it's like a little tulipy front if you can see that um again i will link all this stuff so you can just click it and you can see what it looks like on the model but this is the, the softest dress and again you can kind of dress this up you can throw a, a pair of like little cute white sneakers with this and it's just like the freaking cutest so i'm obsessed they just fit really really cute just two basic easy summer dresses those jean shorts you guys those are a must i will say like they are really freaking cute on. So that is everything that I, oh no, that's not everything. Hold on. Where did I put it? I bought two. Did I not bring them in here? I guess I did. I bought two of um, the new Pat McGrath blushes. Did you guys see these? So it was on Sephora. I was just seeing what was new and I came across these blushes and I am like in love with them. They are really good formula. The one color I will say I'm freaking like obsessed with. Um, this is what they look like right here. This is the shade uh, Nude Venus. They're like so smooth though, really smooth. Um, the pigment's really beautiful. It's not like insane insane pigment, but you can build them up really easily. And this is like a good like pinky peach so beautiful but then this is the one that oh my gosh it's like again that kind of like summery sunburnt look and i'm obsessed with this color um this is the shade paradise venus and it looks like this it is beautiful you guys oh my gosh i was wearing this all weekend long and look at that so pretty so those are the two shades i got i love them both though so so pretty i really like these blushes though they're really smooth 
the pigmentation is perfect. The colors are amazing. Um, they lasted a while on my cheeks too. And really good. I love those. Okay guys. So I think that's it for today's video. I hope this, you know, helps you out. I hope this answered all your questions in regards to, you know, breast augmentation. You know, usually people are going bigger, but if you are, you know, thinking about going from larger implants to smaller implants, I hope this video helped you out and just answered some questions. If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, I will try to answer everything, you know, as best as I can. I'm not the doctor, but I can definitely try to answer them, you know, as best as I can. I will also link all of these recent purchases. I will link them down below for you guys as well. I will link the doctor's information down below too and my microblading girl too because she was like awesome too. I will link her down below and I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.